I'm Brad Reich. I'm a clinical investigator at McLean Hospital and a recipient of a 2012 Young Investigator Award from the Brain and Behavior Foundation. I plan to use this award to conduct a project looking at emotional instability in borderline personality disorder and bipolar disorder. In this study, we're planning to scan the brains of 15 bipolar and 15 borderline patients while they're looking at faces with different emotional expressions. We believe that borderline patients, when they're looking at faces with negative emotions such as sadness or anxiety, will show more activity in the amygdala, the area of the brain that's responsible for generating negative emotions. I think this study is important for two reasons. First, we don't really have a good understanding of how different regions of the brain work when it comes to emotional instability. It's my hope that this study will lead to greater understanding of how these regions work with each other and perhaps eventually more understanding of both the genetic and environmental contributions to emotional instability. The second reason this study is important is that there exists controversy in psychiatry concerning the relationship between bipolar disorder and borderline personality disorder. In fact, some researchers believe that borderline personality disorder is simply a subset of bipolar disorder. So I'm hoping this study will provide more evidence that there are clear biological differences between the two disorders and that the two disorders should be actually treated differently. Outside of my professional life, I enjoy spending time with my wife, my three children, and this guy here. I'm an avid sports fan and I really enjoy the outdoors. So in closing, I'd like to thank the Brain and Behavior Foundation for supporting my work. I encourage all of you to learn more about BPD research and to consider supporting it because it's only by increasing our knowledge base that we're going to get better treatments to alleviate the symptoms which are so burdensome for borderline patients and their families. Thank you.